I have some mowers here that I wanted to show you uh, different features and really wanted to look at can I mow my yard using a battery operated mower? So what I have here is a, a standard, this one just happens to be a Craftsman mower. So this would be your standard gasoline uh, mower. Very nice, this one happens to have a few features on it. It's got a uh, uh, personal pace type setting so that actually the mower will just walk for you and you walk behind it and steer it so to speak. And that's a really nice feature on a lot of mowers these days. Some have the gears on the front wheels, some have the gears on the back wheels. This one happens to have the gears on the back wheels. So if we switch over for a second, we look at, well, what if I wanted to mow my lawn using uh, battery operated mowers? Can you do that? Yes, you can. And so what I wanted to show you here is, is really a, uh, a more recent battery operated mower. And what's neat about this one is it has a lot, a lot of features. It does have a uh, a battery that only works with this type of mower or this brand so you have to be aware of that but what's really nice about it is it does have the kind of the personal pace uh, feature on it such that you don't have to push it but it the battery is actually strong enough not just to spin the blades for you but also to operate the mower with gears and move it forward for you so you just walk behind it so that's a really nice feature on these and it still has the power to mow the lawn for you so that's very important the other nice feature about these is they have these folding features you can you can take this and fold the handle and store it easily it has a, uh, a a feature where you just have one knob to raise and lower the mower so that's very nice and if you look at the difference between these two this one of course has an engine and a steel frame or this one uh, it looks like it has an engine but that's just where the battery goes and then it has a plastic frame. So the advantage of that plastic frame, this is a very lightweight mower and easy to move around the yard. The disadvantage is it's gonna be a little bit less durable if, you know, versus steel, right? Okay, so now if we move over to another brand of battery operated mower, still has all those features except this one, you have to push it yourself. This one's not gonna run forward for you. Doesn't have that feature and uh, the difference though here is that it does have a steel type frame to it. So a little bit more durable on it, but it doesn't have the nice uh, features for you that, that you're going to have to actually push this one through the, through the lawn. This one happens to operate off of uh, this brand's batteries. And so if you have this brand's uh, other things like maybe drills or other power tools or blowers or what have you, you can switch. The batteries are interchangeable. So that's a nice feature of this one. This one happens to take two batteries to operate. So if I were to fill up the old gas engine here to take a gas, you know, I could probably, average size lawn, I could probably mow it a couple times really easily on average size yard. With uh, some of these battery operated ones, I may only be able to mow one time and then I need to charge it back up before I mow again. It all depends on the size of your yard. You may be able to get two mowings out of it, but certainly you gotta remember charge that battery up but also you got to remember buy buy gasoline for the other one so what's nice about the battery operated ones is you can actually buy other things that work with it so this is a battery operated weed eater here takes the same battery as the mower would and it just plugs right into the back here so so this trimmer uh, again is, is fairly lightweight because it doesn't have an engine on it and so you, the battery does weigh a little bit but not quite as much as maybe an engine would and what's really nice about this is it's, it's really powerful. And so uh, sometimes the disadvantage of these battery operated units is you just don't have the power to cut tall uh, vegetation. Well, this one, it does, it certainly does. Now here's another brand here that you can tell it's a little bit smaller and it actually takes a little bit smaller battery. So it's more lightweight, easy to carry around. However, it's not gonna cut the vegetation, the tall vegetation, maybe like some others would. That's just because it has a smaller battery, less power to it, but easier to hold and operate. It actually has features where you can put a wheel on this and turn it and use it to edge uh, your sidewalks or your driveway, things like that. So that's very nice. So just a couple more here. I wanted to show that you can use uh, the same type of battery to operate a blower. So this one is a very powerful battery operated blower and it will blow whatever you want it to blow. It's gonna have that power to move uh, vegetation or clippings or what have you off the sidewalk or the driveway. Now this one 
is not battery operated, but actually you would plug it in and it's very powerful. The disadvantage is you've, you've got uh, an extension cord trailing behind you at all times and so maybe it limits how far you can get out from the house. Same thing with some of those mowers. There, there are plug-in mowers out there still. And of course, it's, it's quite dangerous to have a cord trailing behind you when you have a rotary mower, easy to get tangled up. Not that you can't do it safely, but just something to be aware of. So here we go, we can use a gas-powered mower, mower yard. Nowadays, we have very nice battery-operated mowers, and they have beautiful, nice cuts to them. So you can get the same quality of cut, but maybe just doesn't go as far per charge. So you have to keep that in mind if you have a large yard. If you have a small, it's a medium-sized yard, these can fit quite nicely for you. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.